Well, WBZ is the only Boston station to have a personal sit-down interview with Patriots owner Robert Kraft. He launched a media campaign today that has nothing to do with football. You'll see it all over the airwaves over the next few weeks. Kraft's foundation to combat anti-Semitism is calling on everyone to stand up to Jewish hatred by posting, sharing, and wearing a simple blue square. He tells WBZ's Paul Evan why the issue is so personal. We're at a danger point, I, I'm sorry to say. It, it is remarkable to hear you say that you're, what you're seeing happening now, you've never seen in your entire lifetime. Never seen it. Uh, the hatred and bigotry and anti-Semitism, to see people out in the Midwest, men, carrying signs with swastikas, wearing bandanas and carrying guns and uh, making rude and bad comments towards Jewish people. This is the United States of America, 2023. You find it scary? Well, it's disturbing, very scary to me that this shouldn't happen. You know, we saw it in Charlottesville. We saw it right on the streets of Brighton when a rabbi who emigrated here from Russia was attacked. This is streets of Boston this is going on. For a man accustomed to getting results, Robert Kraft is making a significant investment. $25 million to buy airtime for spots like this. Each ad in the Stand Up to Jewish Hate campaign tells a poignant story about what it's like to be a victim of Jewish hate and explains the scope of the problem. Some people might find it surprising that Jewish people only represent 2.4% of the population. It's still a very small figure, but represent over 50% of, of hate, the crime hate crimes. Incidents. Yes, and that's that's what's disturbing and I think part of it is people are not educated on what's going on. Have you ever had any first-hand experience yourself where you've been on the receiving end? Only once in high school but I've had it in my business career and uh, I've had it in certain social circumstances but I've tried to not let other people's problems impact me and they always look to try to build bridges and bring people together. Social media puts hate on steroids. From his office, Kraft can see a video wall his staff created for the foundation to monitor the enormity of hate speech against Jews being propagated online. The ADL had some disturbing numbers that in Massachusetts, anti-Semitic incidents against Jewish people up 41 percent between 2021 and 2022. Uh, and that Massachusetts, the sixth of incidents per state in the country. And do you find that shocking? It's not good for America, because it, it begins this way, but every Asian, black, LGBTQT+, you name it, it's just the beginning. And um, I hope that our campaign can help to stop it. Mr. Kraft tells me he believes this is about education. The blue square emoji is the symbol that he hopes everyone will post and share in solidarity with the hashtag stand up to Jewish hate. David and Lisa. Wow. Great interview, Paula. Yep. Nice job. And so important. People talking about this now yeah. and really starting a nationwide conversation and about we've stopping. We've seen it before where there's been social media campaigns about anti Semitism right. and they use the blue square. Very easy to do, which I think people will be using the emoji on their phone or whatever. Seeing it, is. it yeah. everywhere. Well, let's talk about.